the Middle East is going nuclear, and we're not just talking about Iran. Eight other countries are developing civilian nuclear programs. But in a region plagued by conflict and instability, the security risks of going nuclear are many. Nuclear programs have had a long history in the Middle East, dating back to Israel's secret nuclear weapons program of the late 1950s. That program, along with other security considerations, led Iran, Iraq, Libya, and Syria to also pursue nuclear weapons. All of those programs were either destroyed by Israel or dismantled through international diplomacy, except for Iran's. In 2015, Tehran committed to limiting its nuclear activities in a deal with the P5 plus one, the deal from which President Trump withdrew in May. It's not clear now if Iran will resume its enrichment activities to build the bomb or stick to the deal with the Europeans. In the meantime, other regional states are developing their own civilian nuclear programs to keep up with soaring domestic energy demand and reduce their dependence on fossil fuels. The UAE's first civilian nuclear power plant will begin operating next year. Turkey is moving ahead with a Russian plant to open in 2023. Egypt and Jordan are both planning to build nuclear reactors, and Saudi Arabia has an ambitious plan to build 16 reactors by 2040. Nuclear power might be a key ingredient of the region's growing hunger for energy, but it needs to be developed within strict international safety standards. And as more countries gain expertise in nuclear production and the deal with Iran possibly unravels, the risk of nuclear weapons proliferation increases. That's a dangerous trend in an unstable Middle East lacking a security and arms control framework.